the beginning of the year we've been talking about moving forward in 2021 yes moving forward in 2021 and that's exactly our intention even as we step into this new month of may we want to move forward into the brightness the life the excitement of the season and what better way to do that than to celebrate the garden And welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Catherine and it's so good to be here with you today. Why? Because this is the day that the Lord hath made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, today is May 1st, the first day in the month of May and it is also the day of celebration in many parts of the world where spring is celebrated and flowers uh, the festival of flora and flowers and spring and so we are going to give you a special tour of my garden Catherine's garden and home and we are going to celebrate spring today in the garden so I hope that you will enjoy this um, program on spring and let us remember that uh, God is the one who created this earth yes the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and the world and they that dwell therein so we need to celebrate nature and enjoy what God has created because in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and I also want to read for you Psalms 1 in the Passion Translation. And it reads like this. It says, The Tree of Life. What delight comes to the one who follows God's ways. He won't walk in step with the wicked, nor share the sinner's way, nor be found sitting in the scorner's seat. His passion is to remain true to the word of I am, meditating day and night on the true revelation of light. He will be standing firm like a flourishing tree planted by God's design, deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss, bearing fruit in every season of life. He is never dry, never fainting, ever blessed, ever prosperous, but how different are the wicked. They are like shaft blown away by the wind. The wicked will not endure the day of judgment for God will not defend them. Oh, nothing they do will succeed or endure for long for they have no part with those who walk in truth. But how different it is for the righteous. The Lord embraces their paths as they move forward while the way of the wicked leads only to doom. That ends the reading of Psalms 1 in the Passion Translation. At the beginning of the year, we've been talking about moving forward in 2021. Yes, moving forward in 2021. And that's exactly our intention. Even as we step into this new month of may we want to move forward into the brightness the life the excitement of the season and what better way to do that than to celebrate the garden
Hello, hello, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. So today is a beautiful sunny day here in the Boston area, and I'm going to give you a tour of the garden. The tulips have opened up and they are looking spectacular this morning. Good morning, good morning. And welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. It is a mile 57 degrees this morning, which is so nice. And so I'm going to give you a tour of the garden because the tulips are open and the daffodils are here with them as well and so it is so beautiful here a lot of the perennials are starting to come up and the hostas are showing their beautiful leaves so I'm going to take you around the garden and I don't know if you could hear the birds singing They are happy in the garden and the sun is shining. So let us take a walk around and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful morning. The last Saturday in April. Well, this is what I have been looking forward to. And when I planted the tulips, in the garden here in the different beds this is the moment that i was looking to see happen and materialize before me i have to say that i am not disappointed now isn't that beautiful right there so pretty it's beautiful beautiful daffodils over here and when I lifted up the head of the daffodil I was so impressed with its beauty spend some time with me here in Catherine's garden and home don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you so much for being a part of this wonderful time in April, April 2021. Hello, hello, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. It's so good to be with you here today. Well, today the garden is looking spectacular here for the last Saturday in April. So I'm going to come, I'm going to take you around for a tour of the garden, looking at the beautiful tulips that have opened up and all of the other spring uh, bulbs and perennials that have awakened this time now in the garden. I am just so excited about what I see and what is to come. I really love the spring garden and I love the freshness of the green grass, the beautiful awakening of the tulips. It's just a beautiful time of the year. And I am so happy to share this with you, that I know that putting in the effort to plant those tulips, that they have now produced such beauty and I can experience them now at this time. The other thing is that we have to realize that uh, there is a season for everything and now happens to be the spring season when everything is awakening. So we have to plan for it and do succession uh, planting, that's what they call it. When you plant something for the spring, something for the summer, something that will come up in the fall and even into the early winter. And so um, I just want to just take you around and let you see the glory of the garden, Catherine's garden and home. 
Well, this is what I have been looking forward to. And when I planted the tulips in the garden here in the different beds, this is the moment that I was looking to see happen and materialize before me. So let's take a look at the tulips that I put in and just enjoy the beauty.
beautiful, beautiful daffodils over here. And when I lifted up the head of the daffodil, I was so impressed with its beauty. Then how it bows its head down, so humble, so beautiful. Now this one is beautiful too, with all of its ruffles. This is from a, a package from Costco's. These daffodils came from that package and I'm definitely for the fall I'm going to plant some more I'm glad that I put them here separately in this area because it looks so good with the rock and the ivy the leaves of the hosta the um, blue of this bulb here love that combination and when you are planting you want to consider the succession of bloom uh, things are going to be coming in and coming out now these leaves here are the leaves of the crocus that were there but then uh, they are have finished doing what they're supposed to be doing <laughs> And now they're just making way for those daffodils and the other flowering ground cover in this bed. So this is my food forest. Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. How is your garden growing? I hope things are going well for you as you plant and put things together in your garden and that uh, you are taking time to enjoy the beauty of your garden as well because it doesn't make any sense to do all of this, put all this work into it and not enjoy the garden. The garden should be a joyful place. So. Um, 
have fun have fun in your garden experience it breathe in the different scents and you know the daffodils by the way are highly fragrant which I didn't realize and it's kind of surprised me to smell the um, fragrance in the daffodils and even in some of the tulips and some of the other bulbs and I really am enjoying the gardens the row of daffodils continue to shine and as some have come out others have come into bloom and I'm going to just point out some of the beautiful ones that were in that package from Costco that are now opened and they are just so beautiful each and every different type has its own uniqueness And this is one that is so pretty. They have brought so much joy to the garden. And they're fragrant too. This particular one very fragrant. Mmm, smell is intoxicating. makes this even more beautiful is to see them in amongst the hostas that are coming up and the other perennials in this area. Say that I am not disappointed. Now isn't that beautiful right there? So pretty. And remember that our slogan here our little song or jingle is grow 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 together let's grow 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 together grow in Catherine's garden and home let us grow 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 together come on and grow 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 together here in Catherine's garden and home <laughs> have a great day bye grow 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 together Grow, grow, grow together in Catherine's garden and home. Father, I come to you today in Jesus' name. Thank you for your kindness that has brought me to another day. Thank you for your love and faithfulness. Thank you for accepting me as I am and for transforming me into the likeness of Christ. I present myself before you, body, soul, and spirit, for this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I bring you my strengths, my weaknesses, my hopes, my fears, my successes, my failures, my dreams, and my nightmares. And I ask, O oh God, that you will give me direction for this day. Help me, Lord, to make good and sound decisions. Now, Father, by faith, I release all these things into your lap of grace, and I surrender to your sovereignty. I cast all my cares upon you, and I pray. Thank you, Father, for the inheritance that you have given me and for success. Thank you for bringing me into my wealthy place. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Amen. Pray this prayer with me every day and remember that you are in your wealthy place. Amen. Remember to subscribe to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy on YouTube. Be blessed. Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. Well, it just finished raining here on this Sunday afternoon here in the garden and the garden just got a fresh haircut last night. My husband surprised me by pulling out the lawnmower and cutting the grass. And so this morning it was so beautiful, but it was raining too heavy. I couldn't come out and uh, show you, but now that it stopped raining, I wanted you to see the beauty of the garden and the garden receiving its first haircut. It is just so beautiful and green. I just love the thickness of the grass and the greenness of it. And you can see the pathways uh, throughout the garden, around the different garden beds. It's just a beautiful thing. So I wanted to share this with you. Also, there are more tulips that have opened up. It's amazing how the daffodils are dying back and now the tulips are replacing them. So now it's just constant, constant color throughout the garden, making it just a beautiful place to be in. Also, the hostas are growing up and thicker. It just seemed that little overnight or even more early morning rain has caused the garden to come even more alive and awake. And I didn't get to show you in detail the front border because most of the bulbs in the front weren't open on yesterday. But today, you can see them. You can see their shape. And I love the shape of tulips because they remind me of Easter eggs. It's just such a beautiful sight to behold. So um, come and let's tour around the garden this Sunday afternoon. And, and now seeing the garden not with the shine of the sunlight but rather the calm after rain, you're going to really enjoy this tour. So come with me, come on, and let's walk around the garden and enjoy the garden. Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. I just wanted to come on out and give you a look at the garden after the rain. And the tulips are even more beautiful, I think, shaped like this. I almost like this way of looking at the tulips because they almost remind me of Easter eggs. And I know that Easter has passed, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful um, sight to behold. And each tulip is so different and unique. I just like 
how they're shaped and designed. That is one type of tulip. And here is another in my garden. And then back there are the red tulips. But isn't this beautiful right here? The tulip with the dead nettle, the pink of the dead nettle. As I said, the air is so fresh out here in the garden and it makes you want to walk on this freshly cut grass. Yes, the lawn has received its first haircut for the year. I know that these tulips are going to be beautiful when they fully open but even just capturing them right now like this with a touch of what they're going to be like is just so wonderful When I look at all of the tulips in this bed, I'm quite amazed at how they've just all of a sudden appeared. I didn't even know I had so many tulips in this garden bed. I know I planted these red tulips about two or three years ago here in the bed and now they've returned. I believe it's because they gained the energy that they needed in their um, leaves and it went down to the bulbs and now after a number of years they are now strong enough, the bulbs are big enough and strong enough to uh, actually flower. And then over here, these yellowy, I love this color. It's a pale yellow. I love that. I think next year I wanna get some more of these, uh, this color of yellow tulip. There are more tulips to open up in this bed. But right now, these beautiful pink ones just are so regal in their appearance. You know that they're here. And then I have these other ones to come. I know that that's a more fancy bulb and it will have more of a full shape. But in the meantime, these simple tulips that I think they call them Darwin tulips are from the Darwin family of tulips are just very, very beautiful. As I said, they remind me of Easter eggs. Definitely the time of the tulips. And that rain just brought it out. No, don't mind this. My husband is reseeding the grass here because there are a lot of um, weeds in this area and he wants lawn. <laughs> so we just overlooked that. 
when the grass is newly cut, I just love it because you can see the lines in the grass. And this grass is just very, very, very green. Well, these daffodils are pretty much over. So what I'm going to do is go through and just pinch off the heads like that so that it does not go to seed and leave the greenery. And what that does is that it puts all of the energy of the plant into making or strengthening the bulbs for next year. So you just um, deadhead or pinch off, just like that. And then you have a good chance of getting a lot of daffodil flowers next year. And, and that looks good. It's actually a much cleaner look. And I love it with the yellow. Beautiful. Now I'm going to move my rabbits to a different area soon. The other thing to note is that the hostas or have really um, start to show their leaves even from that just that little pinch or drizzle of rain on them you can really see the hostas mingling here with what is left of the daffodils with the fresh black mulch and the beautiful, beautiful Asian pear tree. This blossoms. Look at that. That is so spectacular. front border you really get to see the tulips and because they're closed up like this you get to see their true color look at that purple my husband also bought this beautiful plant here. It is so pretty. Pink Kisses, Dianthus Pink Kiss. Now isn't that a beautiful plant? And it matches and looks so sweet with the tulip. And I think the yellow with that Dianthus and the purple just beautiful. There's still some bulbs in this front bed that are to open, but the ones that have, it's just pretty. Now look at this arrangement here. Check out this bulb.
My front side garden also received a haircut and it just makes the bed look very defined. You could see the demarcation between the lawn and the border of the um, garden there, this side garden. It just looks so clean and fresh. And then after the rain, because it rained, um, it makes the soil a nice, dark, rich look. It gives it just a nice, nice appearance. I like this view right here in front of us with the different shrubs because you actually get to see um, shrub. It's, it has nothing to do with the flowers, but it's just the leaves and the design of the different leaves. And them, the fact that they're just blending one into another is so beautiful. It's just fresh. Soon the lilacs are going to be uh, showing their beautiful heads and I'm going to have a lot of lilac flowers and this whole area is just going to be highly scented with the smell of the lilacs. Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. How is your garden growing? And are the tulips coming up? What are you seeing that's new and special in your garden at this time of spring? As the garden continues to transition into a deeper a fullness of color and life for the spring season. And we're also going into a new month, the month of May. And there are so many wonderful things to happen in May with the alliums and the lilacs and the irises. But first, let's stop and enjoy the tulips. 
Well, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and make sure that you uh, hit the notification bell for more videos uh, because they're coming fast and furious because the garden is just going through all of the different changes and just trying to keep up with seeding and sowing and seeding, <laughs> seeding the, the, um, the garden and sowing plants in pots so that by June we'll have a nice full garden with uh, vegetables and other things. So please um, come on and join us. Be a part of Catherine's Garden and Home. And remember my saying, grow together. We're gonna grow, grow, grow together here in Catherine's Garden and Home. Have a great evening and uh, see you on Wednesday, Wednesday during the Catherine's Garden and Home Lives when I just pop up and um, just look for me, look for me, look for that live and let us chat and have some fun in the garden. Well, see you and, and have a great day. And see you next time right here in Catherine's Garden and Home. Bye. We're gonna grow, grow, grow together. Grow, grow, grow together here in Catherine's garden and home. videos like subscribe and hit the notification bell and thank you so much for watching see you next time right here in Catherine's garden bye Time for morning meditation in the garden, sitting in my chair, talking and speaking, hallelujah, to the Lord, having and holding those intimate conversations of peace and love, enjoying his presence amongst the flowers and hearing the beautiful sound of the birds people moving to and fro. However, our morning meditations, oh, the joys, oh, the joy. Thank you so much for joining me here at Lady Wisdom Speaks. And I hope to see you next time right here. So may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he continue to fill you with this peace. And Lady Wisdom says that you are wonderful. You are beautiful. You're God's gift to the world. So go on out there and shine. And let the world know that Jesus Christ is Lord.
and see you next time right here at Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. Bye. Do you love my pansies? I think they're so beautiful. Yes, and let us experience this beautiful season, this time of joy, and the awakening of the garden and the awakening of our hearts to who God says we are and what he has planned for us as we're moving forward in 2021. Yes, moving forward in 2021. Have a great day. Bye. If you desire a born-again experience and relationship with God, then just pray with me. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins, and right now I ask Jesus to come and sit on the throne of my heart and to be Lord of my life. Amen. Wisdom is the principal thing. In order to make successful decisions, Lady Wisdom must be consulted. My content is an opportunity to look closely at the choices we must make in life by filtering them through the lens of God's Word. Since we are made up of mind, soul, body, and spirit, it is important to examine life in each of these areas. My content hopes to shape the Proverbs 31 woman in all of us and it intends to ask Lady Wisdom's direction in this process. Will we fall for the trap or will we listen to Lady Wisdom?